Hello, I'm Edward French, and today we're going to give a very abbreviated pipe organ demonstration that we usually give for area school children. Um, they always ask lots of interesting questions, so we'll, we'll miss that engagement, um, but we'll still continue on virtually. Um, so this is the Eastport Art Center's pipe organ. Uh, it used to be in the Baptist Church, it was here before. And it's, um, the thing about pipe organs is that every organ is unique. Um, they're all different. They make different sounds, they're different sizes. This is a relatively smaller instrument, um, but it also has some very nice colors too. And you may think of a pipe organ as being like a piano because it has the keyboards, but actually the piano is a percussion instrument, and this is a wind instrument. So it produces sound by pressurized air going just like with your lungs, going into a, a whistle or a flute. Um, but in this case, there's actually a pump down in the basement that pumps the air up into a wind chest that's in back here and holds the air under pressure. So now we can go in and look at the wind chest. So this is the wind chest that holds the air under pressure with the pipe coming in from the pump uh, down on the first floor. And this is a tracker action instrument or a mechanical action instrument. And what that means is that every key that is on the keyboard is connected by these thin wooden rods that you can see down here to, to the pipes. And when you press down on a key, it opens up, the rod moves and it opens up a valve and lets air into the pipe to make the sound. This is um, actually, as a tracker action instrument, uh, a lot of organs are, are electric, but um, you can actually perform this organ without any electricity at all. And you can do that with this pump handle over here. And we love to have all the school kids come and pump the organ to fill up the air in the wind chest here. And if they keep pumping for a, a couple hours, you can have lots of great music. So you'll also notice back here all of the pipes up here. And these are just some of the pipes that you can see uh, for this organ. But also within this box here, there, that's filled with pipes too. And on the front, you'll see these shutters that open and close. And there's a, there's a uh, pedal on the front of the organ that opens and closes the shutters. So we showed you a great many pipes in back, and they're grouped in different ways. One of the ways they're grouped is by the different ranks on the organ, or, or stops. And each rank or stop on an organ has a particular sound, a particular tone color. Um, so some of the sounds are, imitate other instruments, like a flute, or uh, here it's more like a uh, violin. But there are also sounds that are unique to the organ. That's an aeolene. Um, and each stop is controlled by, each uh, rank is controlled by these draw knobs or stops that are all on both sides of the organ. And when, is it, when a draw knob's pulled out, that particular rank sounds. And when it's pushed in, it isn't sounding. And for each rank, there's a pipe that corresponds to each note on the keyboard here. So a lovely mathematical question we like to ask the school kids is, how many pipes are there on this organ? And they're able to figure it out because there are 10 ranks and there are about 60 notes on the keyboard plus the the uh, notes on the pedal board, and they figure there are over 650 pipes back here, which is quite a few. Another way all of the pipes are organized are by the divisions of the organ. This organ has three divisions. The, uh, one division is the top keyboard here, which is the swell division. And the reason it's called the swell division because it really sounds swell. Um, no, it's actually because all of the pipes for this division are in that box that you saw in back. And when you press this accelerator pe pedal, it doesn't make the music go faster. It opens up those shutters so that the sound swells. So if you have it closed, it sounds like this. And you can hear the sound swelling. The second division on this organ is the great division. And the school kids are always very good at answering why it's called the great division, because it's great. It sounds great. Um, and this is, has more of the principal stops, so there are the foundation stops of the organ. Um, so it really gives the organ its characteristic sound. And the third division on this organ is the pedal division, which are played by the feet down here, and we have special shoes to help us to play the pedals. 
Um, some organs have four, five, six, or seven divisions. So, but with the different divisions, you're, each, you're able to play um, independent lines of music. So here's a short Bach trio that has three independent lines with the great division I'm playing with the right hand, then I'll play, be playing with the pedals, another line of music, and then with the left hand I'll be playing the swell division, and that'll have the melody. So here's a short, short piece trio by Bach. <laughs> the different divisions together. So there's a swell to great coupler so that when you're playing the swell keyboard with all those stops that are pulled out, when you play on the great you can be playing both all the great stops and the swell stops at the same time. So when we have that pulled out, you'll notice these keys up here on the swell are depressing by this invisible hand which is actually done by having a swell to great coupler pulled out. And you can also couple the pedal uh, keyboard to the swell and to the great, with the great to pedal and the swell to pedal couplers. And when you have the couplers and all of the different stops pulled out, that's called pulling out all the stops. So this piece is a trumpet tune by David Johnson in which for part of it we have all the stops pulled out. Introduction to the Pipe Organ at the Eastport Arts Center.